Yes, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Anupata. So today I'm going to discuss about uh, an introduction to networks. So let's let me first share the PPT. So we'll go to the yes. So the topic that we are going to discuss today is an introduction to networking. Okay. So we'll go to the contents that we are going to discuss in this video. We are going to discuss about the what is network, advantages of network computing related to standalone computing, identifying the elements of a network types of network and distinguishing between client server and peer to peer network okay first we'll see what is network and standalone computers so first we'll see what is the definition of network so a network is nothing but a group of computers and other devices connected by some type of transmission medium okay so what is the definition of network is two or more computers if they are connected by some transmission medium so a transmission medium may be any cable or any other any other, any other wire okay network enables user to share devices and data collectively called network resources okay now whatever the network if you have enabled the network it allows the two or more user to share data like how you send email from one user to another like that you can share the data when you are in the network okay now let's see what is standalone network so the difference between uh, network and standalone network is standalone network user programs and data only from its local disk and it not connected to the network. So whatever the information there, it is only present on the local disk. That is, it can't be shared to another computer. Okay. See here. So how was the communication between uh, before the network? So the method of sharing data by is by copying it to the disk and carrying the disk from computer to the computer. So when there was no network, what the users were doing is they were trying to copy all, all the information from the first computer into a floppy disk and after copying it to transfer to another computer they have, they have to take the disk and insert the disk into the next computer so this is how the communication was taking place between two or more computers before network okay now we'll see what is the difference between local computer and remote computer so what is local computer is the computer on which the user is working okay so am I, if i am the user okay if i am working on a single computer that is called as a local computer next we we'll see what is a remote computer so computer that uses control or works on via internet connections okay local computer does not have an internet connection whereas remote computer has the internet connections okay Now we'll see what are the types of networks. Okay, so the first one is local area network, metropolitan area network, and wide area network. So we'll see one by one. First, we'll see what is local area network. So network of computers and other devices confined to relatively smaller place. Like you can take an example. What is local area network? Is some computers or two or three computers that are connected, but in a very relatively small space means what we can take an example of a lab okay a computer small computer lab okay that you can call it as a local area network or within a small room okay so lands involve many computers that are usually server based okay now special computers known as server process the data for communication between the computers on the network so if we have a client and a server so there will be a server that process the data whatever is requested by the client okay so this is an example of a lan okay so you can see here there is a single building lan so all the devices are connected to this lan and this is the backbone so multiple building so this is a single room and this is the multiple building lan so this is the one of the example of lan next we'll see what is man and van so man stands for metropolitan area network so network connecting the clients and servers in multiple buildings within the limited geographical area lan has told it is within the small space or within a single room whereas in multiple network the network that connects clients and servers within multiple buildings so lan was connected in a single buildings if i want to connect within a multiple buildings 
that is called as map but it will be within the geographical area you can take an example of a college so college has a man network because it is within a limited geographical area now what is wide area network so wide area networks it spans large distance and connects two or more lands so wide area networks is bigger than the metropolitan area networks okay so it spans large distance okay it might be wide area network might be connected from uh, two to three kilometers from one one land to other land one land best example is the internet so it is very strictly extensive and that spans across the globe so as you know internet is connected across the globe so this is the example of wide area network okay here can take an example of man here so you can see this is the public city network okay so within the uh, college area this all lands are connected okay so this is the example of man when you can see here it's a wider network so there will be thousands or multiple thousand clients that are connected to this router okay so router will process all the information what is been processed by the file server okay now I'll go to the multiple choice questions okay the type of network in which connects clients and server within the limited geographical area so as i told we'll go to the options first is the wan so wan you can see it spans with a large distance man it connects within the geographical area and LAN it connects within the building. So correct answer will be the MAN. Okay, so if I check it, yes, it's correct. So MAN connects clients and servers in multiple buildings within the geography. Okay. So now we'll go to the different types of network models. So what are these different types of network models? First one is called as a peer to peer network and second one it is called as client server network okay so we'll see one by one now what is this peer to peer network so computers communicate on single segment of cable so whenever we see the computer it always communicates on a single segment of cable and share each other's data and devices so what in my peer to peer is here communication between computer takes place through a single cable only so you can see here there are five computers okay so if they are using a single cable so they have twisted this cable and the same cable is used for connecting to another computer so this is one of the simple example of a peer-to-peer -peer network where communication takes place on a single segment of cable and using this cable we can share each other's data okay so as a simple example you can say it's a lan so as i told local area network is within the what a building okay it is also known as a work group model okay well it's also known as a work group model next we'll see what is a client server network so in client server network there is a difference here here in peer-to-peer -peer network there was no server so all the uh, computers were working in a group in a peer-to-peer -peer network but there is a difference between this you can see here there is a difference here so what is the difference so here we have the server okay so whatever the server is there you can see here whatever the server is there so it can be uh, you can say uh, it is a single server okay so this was about the client and server network okay so today we have discussed about the definition of network different types of network lan man van peer-to-peer -peer and client server model okay so thank you